Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today's market review is going to be on Mark, M-A-R-K, Remark Holdings, Remark.com, R-E-M-A-R-K.com. Please subscribe, ring that bell, and hit that like button, and you'll get notifications of our upcoming videos if you ring that bell. Let's go straight into the website. Pulled up the website here. And you can go all the way down, and there's some information on the website. You can go all the way down to the bottom of the page, and you have investors relations. And there's some material in here you can do your due diligence on. Financial information, newsroom, events and presentation, corporate governance. And so we'll just go ahead and go on straight to Wahoo Finance. And this is the news that I picked up on the 30th that I kind of like, and it's had a run ever since. And we might be hitting a peak or not, but I think if we break above a certain area, we might get up to a little bit higher range. And I'm going to kind of call the pullbacks on this trade. But Remark Holdings family of all thermal solutions is helping to reopen global businesses. And they're sending out uh, thermal, uh, thermal kits, thermal pads, thermal helmets and um, in the United States and Japan. And they've also got these little glasses that you, you can walk through and you can tell the temperature of people. So we're going to keep a good eye on this. I think um, this is going to be still a momentum play as long as we have corona and we have to take find out people's temperatures. So let's go straight to the chart. We're going to go ahead and pull it up. This is the yearly chart. We are getting up to a yearly high, and that yearly high to me is going to be right around this 128 area. And I've got to go up here and change this, get to 128, and that's going to be a little resistance level. It's going to be a pretty hard resistance level. Then we've got another one right here at 105. Then in between, we've got one right in here, I'd say right around the 119. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. Pullback support is going to be right in this 85. And I'll show you a little bit more of that when I get in here on the 20-day, uh, 20 20 one-hour chart. Then we've got a little pullback, I'd say probably well, maybe right in this area right in here. I'm seeing these little candle areas right in here. Bam. Just like that. And then we've got 72. We've got a resistance that we got a breaker right up here at 112. And then we have one right here at 97. So that's how I'm going to kind of chart it up right now. I do like this area right in here where it consolidated for a strong buy. If it, if it does kind of pull back and have a knife, I'd say right here right around 85 cents. And I'll turn that into a red line. I really like that one right there. So we'll put that there. That's going to be your strong buy. Your first support is going to be right here at 97. And then that second one's going to be right here at 92. And if that doesn't hold, that 85 cents. And I'd like to see that hold. If anything below that's going to be a strong buy for a, a retracement bounce back up. I know a lot of people are watching this stock and it's on their radar every morning in the penny land. We do have an upward wedge and I'm going to point that out to you which still kind of remains bullish to me. And we'll start right in here and just kind of move it up. That kind of runs right into that 91 area. And we just continue this up. So it's a pretty wide wedge. There's still pretty some engulfing candles in here. So if it does kind of pull back, like it did here, right? You know, it bounced up pretty high. It hit a double top here on Wednesday, on Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday it broke out of that. And that's an ascending triangle right there in itself. And I'll point that out to you real fast. And that's what I call an ascending triangle. And that goes up to right about in here. And then you got this this line right in here that brings it right straight across. And that's a descending triangle inside of a wedge, upward wedge. So to me, that's still a bullish chart. We've got to break resistance of 119 to bring it up to that 128. Anything above that 128 is going to be a gift. So but our target's going to be 128. 
with a low support right down here at 85 cents and that's going to be right in here anything below this if it gets down to 72 I'd load the boat on it and take it up to these next resistance bars but if we go ahead and break out Monday and it does break past this 119 expect to see 128 and I'd probably scale out some or anything above that 128 is going to be big profit so this is the review on Mark I hope you enjoyed the video always remember I love stocks brought it to you we also have a little Twitter bird right here icon you hit that follow button and Miss Vegas is posting alerts in here on a daily basis she did a trade exchange video on a trade exchange interview last week if you'd like to watch that they're affiliates of ours trade exchange and they really bring a lot to our room we're going to go back to the website. We also have our Stock Twitch, Stock Twits pages on here. If you want to hit them, just hit that icon, hit that follow button. I also have mine right below it. We'll go ahead and pull that website up. You can always hit mine too. Hit that follow button. I'm posting daily alerts in here also. See, I've got Bind on here. That's my hot stock for next week. Uh, we were in Disney. I'm in glue. I've got to pull back on glue. So there are just a couple more trades that I'm I'm in Disney glue and uh, one other one. I can't think off the top of my head right now, but but I'm in three of them. And that's in my options account. So I want everybody to have a great day. Remember this is I Love Stocks. <laughs>